guys, welcome to today's video. Um, and today we're talking uh, about maps and whether you should protect them and if you are going to protect them, what you should use um, to do that. Whether it's something store brought or something that you could easily do at home. Stay tuned and we'll go over it all. So first and foremost, you need to ask yourself an important question. How often are you going to be using the map? Is it something that you're going to use as your primary source of navigation? So potentially you're going to be needing it quite easily accessible. Uh, you're going to be exposing it to the environment and you're going to be creating wear and tear by um, constantly folding it and bending it in different ways to get it in its potential uh, map protector. Or is it something that you're going to use more of a plan B? So you've got other means of navigation, something like a dedicated GPS or a dedicated phone app. Now let's go down the plan B path. So for me, a map can definitely be a plan B option. I love using the hiking app uh, just because it's really, really simple, but I'll still always carry a map as a backup. Now, if it is my plan B, I still generally want to protect the map. I'm not really going to just shove it down inside my pack. Um, even though it's not going to see much use, uh, it can still get creased, folded, torn. Um, if something inside my pack is rather damp, so for example, uh, a shelter, if it's rained all night, that could get exposed to that and ruin the map. So in that case, I generally carry this uh, Osprey map protector. It's just nice and light and simple. And especially if I'm going quite a, uh, quite a distance and I'll potentially be needing two or three maps or I cover two or three maps, I can take these maps, pop them inside this map protector like so. And this thing is actually completely waterproof. I've done a whole separate review video on that. I'll link that down below. Um, but I can carry, like I said, two or three or four different maps inside of this thing. And this can just go inside my pack. It doesn't really weigh anything. And it's going to um, protect the maps from any moisture um, and also from any kind of wear and tear inside of my pack. Now, before this, I used a much heavier plastic type of map protector. Uh, which was more of a pain in the backside to kind of carry. And also, if the map was my plan A for navigation, it was quite difficult to use, quite a bit of a pain in the backside to kind of unroll it, squeeze the map in there, refold it, etc. Um, and same with this thing. And really, what are you protecting the map from? You're protecting it from two things. The environment, so rain, dirt, all that kind of stuff and also from everyday wear and tear. Now that can be wear and tear inside your pack against other items, but it can also come from constantly having to fold the map, fold it in different ways, um, or fold it the same way over and over again, um, really creating that crease line and eventually the map falls apart, um, which is you know a bit of a problem with these things because they only expose a certain part of the map. So you might need to take it out, refold it, etc. And um, it creates wear and tear on the map. So apart from creating extra wear and tear on the map, they did protect it from the environment. But if you did uh, a longer hike, you might have only crossed small sections of a certain map, but you had to carry that whole map. So, you know, you might have might have ended up carrying three or four different types of map, but using really small amounts of those maps. Um, and having to kind of sort them out and go through them really became quite uh, problematic, quite a bit of a pain in the backside. So I was really stuck on what to do until I started going to adventure races and people there were using all different types of map protectors from you know these kinds of ones to the thicker plastic ones. But I had a look at what the top tier teams were doing and all of them were using contact paper. They were making their own map protectors with simple contact paper um, and my mind basically exploded as to what a good idea that was they were completely customizing the map so they were able to you know cut out sections where they knew we weren't racing um, and only carry the bare essential of the map so i got my own contact paper and i started playing around with making my own map and this is pretty much what i ended up with this is a section of map protected by contact. Now, the benefits of this are number one, I only carry what I need to. So these are the other bits of map here, uh, number two, number three, etc. 
uh, sections of the map, but if I'm going on a trip and I only need a small part of this map, why do I need to bring the whole map? With this method, I can only carry the certain sections that I need. Number two, it keeps it um, nice, light, simple, and uh, if you're going to fold it, then it protects the creases a lot more than um, keeping in one of these things. It also makes it a lot easier to fold it up a lot smaller because there's a lot less paper and you can simply just chuck it in your pants pocket um, or even in your shirt pocket if you've got one of the larger pockets. So it's easy to take out, have a quick look at, do your nab check and then put away rather than carrying a much bigger map. And I, if I do need other sections of the map, again, I can keep these stored in the back uh, of my pack or wherever else and only use it on the, uh, the section that I need. So it's nice, small and light. Much, much easier than using one of these things. So I guess the next big question is how do you make it? Well, let's go over and make one of these map protectors. All right, so let's get started. First and foremost, you are going to need a map. Uh, I do recommend you use a ruler um, and a box cutter if you've got one of those fancy guillotines or something which guarantees you to cut in a straight line. Awesome, by all means use those, but these will do. Um, cutting board as well is really handy. Um, if you don't have that, just a bunch of cardboard on any table will be more than enough to protect that table. And of course, your ping wrap. So to start with, you are going to get your map completely unfolded. And now obviously maps have generally two sides to them. Um, with this map, I don't use anything on this side, so I can fold it over. Um, I only use this side of the map. So when I make my uh, map cover, I'm actually gonna have a front and a back on the one page, which is nice and useful. Next up, take your map and we're gonna cut it into sections. So pretty much where the folds are. So this will be one section here. Then this here will be another section between there and there. Um, and then another section here. Um, and then finally my last section. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, at this point in time, you can take a texter and you can number the pages on your map, pretty much like a street directory, so you know which one was first, second, third, fourth, um, if you're taking your maps out. So let's go ahead and do that. Number one, number two, number three, and number four. Um, make sure, or I always do anyway, number them in the top right hand corner so I know if I'm laying the maps out and I need to choose find out which one goes on to what um, I can just really quickly uh, lay them out um, all in the same way so I know it should be top right hand corner so it makes life a little bit easier anyway let's get the cling wrap and start to protect them all right, so let's take the map now and wrap it up in the cling wrap. Now, the way I do it is roll it well out, chuck it in, and then just start to fold it over. Create basically a crease there. And that looks about right. So only to there, again I can just use a marker, so I know I want to cut along this line there. Alright, now the fun bit. Using the ruler and the box cutter there helps just keep it a little bit more stable. By far the hardest part of this whole process is trying to peel an edge. I think 
we may have one. So I can lay the map there just for reference so I know how much I need to peel roughly to start with. Press down nice and firmly, get all those air bubbles out, which will be on the other side. And then simply fold it over. process. Make sure you leave a couple of mil there um, just as a buffer to make sure it stays um, waterproof um, so it creates a seal. If you do it right up to the map, uh, you'll lose that seal around the edge of the map, which you don't want. And there you go, there is your map. Protected both sides, um, so simply copy and repeat on all these ones, and this will keep them protect them up and keep it waterproof, and that's it. So, lastly, I wanted to let you know of one other big advantage um, for using the cling wrap as a map protector, and that is the ability with the sharpie to completely write all over this map, make notes, um, circle things, either before your trip or during it. I carry a little sharpie on my um, on my trips with me um, and then you can simply completely wipe that clean with a little bit of metho if you want and that's about it guys that pretty much wraps it up I hope that was useful for you uh, like I said earlier in the video going from this to this was pretty eye-opening for me and it's made life a whole lot easier um, you can uh, clean up the whole map if you want to keep it as kind of you know one giant map I found cutting into sections um, just a lot easier to manage uh, but that's up to you. Uh, if you do have any questions or want me to make any follow-up videos on any specifics with this technique, do let me know down below in the comments. Give me a thumbs up if you got something out of it. And if you're interested in more videos, definitely hit that subscribe button. But as always, thank you for watching and until next time, happy trails.